Hello everyone and welcome back. Um, in this video what we're going to do is start our um, contact management app and this is just going to be a small example of how to use the framework to quickly uh, create some stuff and show you the power of using a framework like this or any other MVC PHP framework. Um, but I thought it'd be helpful to kind of tie up all the loose ends and to just um, do a good um, test. This will actually test our framework. Um, building something to make sure we don't have any like typos or bugs anywhere we still could you know you might not touch every line of code yet um, but let's get going so to start off with what we're going to going to need um, let's see here my pages got all screwed up because my video software crashed but what we're going to do actually is go to localhost and PHP my admin and we're going to generate a new table we have users and user sessions right now so go ahead and create a contacts table just call it contacts with an underscore and we're going to need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 total columns so I'm going to add um, 10 columns here alright and so we'll start off with the first column is going to be uh, ID I will give it a length of 11 um, and we want this to be our primary key yep and it's going to add the index so go and we want it to be auto increment All right. Um, and then what we want to do for the next one is we're going to use uh, user ID that will also be an int uh, no default and we're going to allow null on this all right. Um, probably go ahead and add an index to that as well. So just call it user ID. All right. Um, the next thing that we're going to do is f name, and this is going to be a varchar variable character, and we'll make it 155 characters. Um, sure we're going to allow null there on that as well uh, name our last name will be L name so that's an L not an I and that will be a variable character we'll make it 155 um, we'll allow null on that as well alright um, the next thing that we want to do is we will do an email varkar We'll make that 155. <coughs> Address. That'll be a bar car. Um, sure, this can be. We'll do. You know, let's do 255 for that. And then we want address 2. 255. All right, and then the next thing we want is city, bar car. This one can be a little shorter. We'll just go with 100 on that for length. We'll make it null, allow null on that. State, or it could be you know state or province or whatever. So we'll just do state. Uh, we'll make that a length of 100, allow null. And we can do zip. You can also call that postal co code. In the United States, it's zip code um, or postal co code. It's just co according where you're at. But that one can be shorter, probably 65 there. And then uh, we'll do home phone. This will be actually a variable character as well. And this one we can make even shorter. So let's say 55, just give it a little breathing room. So cell phone. 55 and work phone we'll make that 55 and then we'll do our last one will be deleted we'll make this a tiny int with a length of one because it's going to be a boolean um, we're actually going to do a default here so um, let's see here do a zero so do as defined and zero there 
Um, and you know what? Let's do an index on that as well. So we're just going to do an index. And we're going to call this deleted. Go. All right. So I think we're good to go there. So I'm going to hit save. And we have our table. Okay. We're going to use this table. Uh, we'll, we'll use this table for saving our contacts. And um, just to be clear, um, I added, some of you might wonder why I added an index to username and um, deleted. And it's just a good idea because um, this table could get very huge. And if we're searching, um, say we want to find all contacts that are of a certain user, because users can log into this system. And so we can store a user ID. Well, it's going to have to search through all that. And it would slow, it, it could possibly, if there's millions of rows here, slow that query down. But if you had added an index to that and you're searching to that and deleted it, it will speed those queries up to, like a lot. Like, I mean a lot. So it's something you want to do on your tables if you're going to be searching by them. Okay. So I, I think we'll just leave this a short video here. And so we'll just kind of leave it as our, our database setup. And in the next video, we're going to get started on adding our controllers and our views. I'll see you there.